Writing is an essential skill for anyone who is work in the working world. It's a way for the students to make their ideas known to others, to communicate with others. People who can't write effectively, they're shut out of the decision-making process. They're shut out of the possibility of making changes in how a society operates. My experience has been that students learn better when they write. And the more they write, the more they learn, and it sharpens their critical thinking skills as well as their language skills. And the more often they write, the better off they are. Writing, you know, is going to be one of the major tools that we need when we, you know, when we go and work. And I definitely believe that, you know, the, the writing across the curriculum is part of it. Those people who are good writers didn't get to be good writers in a semester. They got to be good writers from a lot of writing, a lot of feedback, more writing, more feedback. What they need is to have some response to the specific issues that they are having with their writing. Everybody has different issues in their writing and they need to have the feedback or they're never going to improve. When you don't get good feedback from a teacher, there's basically no point in taking that person's class because you don't learn anything. You're just throwing your work out there and they're saying, you gotta see. When someone is able to give you feedback to say, yes, you're on the right track, or let's look at it a little differently. What if we organize it this way? Then the student can see how to move forward and improve his or her writing. I think that the biggest challenge has been making sure that students understand what they did wrong and why it matters. I have the experience with feedback from teachers where the comments are only what you're doing wrong, but not really giving you a direction which way to go. When you criticize, this is wrong, don't write this, you kind of hope that the teacher will explain why. The other important part is for students to learn to take constructive criticism, because that's part of the scholarly process. I want them to feel as if I'm taking them seriously, so I don't want to just tell them that they're doing really well and everything's great. I want them to know that my criticism is a sign that I want more from them. Hearing that what they've written is good and that's the end of the comment doesn't help anyone at all. What helps is solid feedback on specifics. The feedback my teacher gave me was really positive and it helped me realize when I was writing and getting off topic and it also helped me realize the mechanic issues I had and it was, I was able to fix those so my paper could turn out really well. When I was writing outside the topic area and she would kind of redirect me and in that way when I go back and edit it made sense once she comment on my my writing. At the beginning of my you know I was 24 years old I was correcting every single grammatical error and I was writing all over the papers with red and this and that and I think I, I simply overloaded the students with too much criticism. So I began to learn um, after a few years of doing it to focus on what was most important. This was the most common era, and you do them one at a time. It's striking that balance between not discouraging them, but making sure that they know that improvements are needed. If one is too positive, the student just looks at the positive part, and if the comments are too negative, the student just feels overwhelmed and doesn't want to continue trying. Faculty need to learn not to overcorrect, not to go crazy about trying to correct grammar. You're never, in, with some students, going to get rid of every single grammatical mistake that a student ever makes. The more they read, the more they write, the more things will get better over time.